Hey guys, I'm actually using a Malamine sponge to clear off all this old RTV uh, silicone off of the gasket, liquid gasket. I'm, I was trying to find an easy way to get rid of this gasket material. So I read on the forums basically um, you could use like paint stripper or something, but I really don't want to use the acid on aluminum parts. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually tried this, I actually cleaned my other part of the gasket with a Malamine sponge. Now this stuff disintegrates, so what I did was I plugged up all the holes off of my uh, EGR path uh, way, and I plugged them all the, the holes with uh, with cloth, and basically just used a malamine sponge and sprayed a little bit of uh, some brake cleaner, and it actually gets really clean without having to use sandpaper or anything. I've read on forums that basically you use sandpaper to surface it, but using a malamine sponge actually takes away all the silicone without much pressure or anything. It doesn't leave any scratches or anything. So it's, I assume it's better than using sandpaper, but since it disintegrates while you scrub it, you might want to just cover all these ports before doing so, just so it won't fall into your these uh, exhaust ports. Anyways, that's pretty awesome. Um, I was trying it on that. I already did it on here. Now, after that, I'm going to do it on the top, the top portion of the the EGR pathways for my Honda Civic Hybrid. But yeah, you can see that I actually use a red RTV uh, sealant because my old gasket was leaking and the coolant was leaking into my exhaust, um, which was not good. But anywho, I used a red RTV uh, gasket, little gasket S as a temporary. Now that I actually bought the gasket from Honda, now I'm gonna basically just reinstall it. Anyway, it's just a simple trick just to get rid of gasket material by using melamine sponge and a little bit of uh, brake cleaner. What's happening is the melamine sponge is actually rubbing off all the silicone. It's not really doing much to the aluminum or to the metal parts but it's definitely rubbing off all the aluminum. I mean, I'm sorry, the red gas material. That's the RTV silicone. Um, I've already scraped off a lot of it using a razor, but what happens is that this small fine stuff, the melamine sponge basically just rubs it off as if you're rubbing over your finger. That's a lot faster. And it doesn't seem to, it's not as bad as uh, basically using, I guess, sandpaper, which I guess people would normally do. They use high grit very fine sandpaper to fi finish it off or they use a paint stripper but I prefer not using acid and I'm just going to use a melamine sponge and just slowly rub this stuff off it seems to be going pretty well and doesn't leave any marks so it's pretty awesome okay almost done just I'm, the entire sponge is pretty much used up on this top uh, railing of this uh, gasket uh, but basically just put a little pressure and just slowly rub 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 and the RTV silicone just slowly comes off with the melamine sponge it doesn't need to sand or anything now, it just slowly rub this off it does take a little time and it does disintegrate this melamine sponge and you can see look at all that sponge and uh, silicone material but it slowly just rubs them off um, but it's slow meticulous but it's more effective, I guess, than using sandpaper. Or maybe, I don't know, this is just your backyard way of doing things, but um, to me, I think it's a lot simpler than having to use sandpaper and potentially scratch up the surface of this, of the, of the, um, scratch up this middle surface. I really don't want to do that. Anywho, again, melamine sponge, nice and slow. Just make sure you blow off all the stuff that comes out of it uh, before you install the stuff back. Anyways.